Hello, welcome to lecture six. Today we're going to talk about gathering requirements, specifically how do you could access potential users. This will give you what you need to know for assignment two and for milestone one. By the end of this lecture, you'll be able to list pros and cons of a data collection method, suggest ways to collect data for a user and task descriptions, and suggest techniques for an effective interview. I'd like to start with the story. Back in 2008, I was giving a lecture for MSI343. This was in person, and this was the interface that I used to try and manipulate uh, the presentation system in the classroom. And I arrived at class one day and I didn't know what I could do. I, I could, there was no way for me to actually connect uh, my laptop to the system. So what went wrong here? Well, what had happened is I didn't realize you could slide along the bottom. The bottom didn't afford that I could slide over to be able to access the laptop icon, which I'd used every time before. So how would you fix something like this? Well, you might use some of your design principles but you may also want to collect some data to understand what people's tasks are. So if you're building a presentation system, how would you figure out this task example to make sure that this is something that you can actually support in your design? We're going to start with an activity for you. Take five minutes and individually read through the data collection method provided on Learn and answer the relevant questions. You'll need to understand and propose a pro and a con for the actual method that you've been presented. Go ahead.